Immerse yourself in the profound insights offered by Father Chuck Belmonte as he delves into daily reflections on various gospel passages from the Bible. April 5th, Friday. Being nailed to the cross means giving ourselves completely. Reflect on the example that Christ gave us from the crib in Bethlehem to his throne on Calvary. Think of his self-denial and of all he went through. Hunger, thirst, weariness, heat, tiredness, ill-treatment, misunderstandings, tears. But at the same time, think of his joy in being able to save the whole of mankind. Jesus gave himself up for us in a sacrifice of love. What about you, who are a disciple of Christ? You, a favored son of God, who have been ransomed at the price of the cross? you too should be ready to deny yourself. So, no matter what situation we may find ourselves in, we can never allow ourselves to behave in a way that is selfish, materialistic, comfort-loving, dissipated, or, forgive me if I speak too candidly, just plain stupid. Christ is not merely asking us to renounce things which may or may not be important. He is asking for something of greater value. He wants us to renounce our own selves and to practice a spirit of self-denial and sacrifice every single day. That is the condition he sets for everyone who wishes to follow him. A day without mortification is a day lost. But if we are faithful, we can say with St. Paul, I have been crucified with Christ. We must be nailed to the cross and surrender our own selves. We must put everything around us at Jesus' feet and not keep anything back. We must say yes to Jesus about anything he asks from us. St. Paul writes, every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable crown. And St. Jose Maria comments, All you have to do is look around you. See how many sacrifices men and women make, willingly or less willingly, to take care of their bodies, to protect their health, or to gain the respect of others. Are we unable to stir ourselves at the thought of the immensity of God's love, so poorly corresponded by men, and mortify what needs to be mortified so that our hearts and minds may be more attentive to our Lord. If anyone wishes to come after me, if the grain of wheat does not die, these are clear warnings, urgent invitations from Jesus Christ for us to value the role of the Holy Cross in our lives. We are the seed of God, and we cannot go through this world without dying, without being nailed to the Lord's cross, so as to obtain the fruits of his sacrifice. Now, in the intimacy of our prayer, we can ask ourselves, what am I doing in order to die to myself each day? Do I carry my cross resolutely from morning till night? Let us ask our Lord to increase our faith. Let us appeal to our Mother Mary to teach us to love the cross so that we can learn from her how to follow Jesus Christ right up to Calvary. I would be delighted to extend an invitation to you once again tomorrow for another insightful reflection on the gospel by Father Belmonte.